All right, welcome to So You Think You Can Take the Derivative. This is the 2018 version because I actually did this back in 2014 already. Anyway, here you're going to find lots of practice questions on differentiations, and here I have these three examples for you guys. But before you pause the video and try them first, I want to tell you guys that you can actually go to the description because of the file to the questions for you guys. Right now I have about two files, but later on I will have more files for you guys if there is a request. But anyway, for these three questions, for this file actually, you guys are going to use the power rule, the quotient rule, the product rule, and also the chain rule, or maybe the combination. And we will not be talking about the inverse function yet. Um, yeah, that's about all for the first file. We have 10 questions on that, and here are the three examples. Now, be sure you pause the video and try this first. Okay, so hopefully you guys seriously took the time and actually worked them out, all right? And I will go over these three examples for you guys, and later on I will do like uh, solution videos for the other questions as well. And you will notice all of the questions are in multiple choice format, because that way we will know when to stop, when to keep going, etc. right? Anyway, let's go ahead and differentiate. And by the way, for all my videos, I will just use dd whatever <laughs> to tell you guys that we have to differentiate. But all of the questions are just you know, differentiation. All right, we are going to differentiate 1 over cosecant theta. And in this case, do we need to use the quotient rule? Yes, if you use it, it's still okay, but we don't need to, okay? Because we notice what is cosecant. Cosecant is 1 over sine. And when you have 1 over cosecant, this is in fact just the regular sine function. So, this question is only asking us to differentiate with respect to theta of the sine function and the derivative of sine theta. This is something that you should know, you should remember. And you get cosine theta and <laughs> you are done. And let's go for the next example. Here we are going to differentiate x times the square root of 18 minus x squared. Notice this is a product of two functions. So we have to use the product rule. And let's get going. I will keep the first function, which is x, and then I will multiply by the derivative of the second. Derivative of the square root is going to be 1 over 2 square root. And then the inside stays the same, which is 18 minus x squared. And then you have to remember the chain rule says we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. Derivative of 18 is 0. The derivative of negative x squared is negative 2x. So we multiply by negative 2x because of the chain rule. <laughs> and then, continue. We have to add the second function, which is square root of 18 minus x squared. Then, we multiply by the derivative of the first. The derivative of x is just equal to 1. So that's nice. So this is the derivative, and we're just going to simplify the expressions. First, we see that this 2 and this 2 cancel each other out nicely. And for the first part, we have x times 1 times negative x on the top. So that's negative x squared, like that. And then for the denominator, it's just square root of 18 minus x squared, like that. And then we are going to just add this times 1, which is just plus square root of 18 minus x squared, like this. And you will notice, in fact, I didn't have this as one of the answer choices because, in fact, we can combine the fractions by doing the following. Get the common denominator, and in fact, we really want to do that because later on you will see if you want to talk about the critical values and things like that, you have to combine expressions. Anyway, to get the common denominator, I need this right here, so I will multiply the bottom by square root of 18 minus x squared, and then do the same on the top. I multiply the top and bottom by this. Then we see that on the top, this is negative x squared. And then for the second part right here, square root of this times square root of that, same thing inside. So I just get it inside. So we add 18 minus x squared, and then this is all over. This for the denominator. Square root of 18 minus x squared. And of course, you can notice this and that together, you just get minus 2x 
square and then plus 18 or over that namely square root of 18 minus x square and with that we are done okay and this is the answer i have for you guys for one of the answer choices all right lastly we have to differentiate sine x over 1 plus cosine x this is a quotient so therefore we have to use the quotient rule and it says we are going to go ahead and square the denominator right away let me put down parentheses with 1 plus cosine x inside and then square that and then for the top i'm going to put down the bottom function namely 1 plus cosine x and then i will have to multiply by the derivative of the top function derivative of sine x is cosine x and then for the quotient rule we are going to subtract the top function which is sine x and then multiply by the derivative of the bottom derivative of one is zero derivative of negative <laughs> sorry that's the answer derivative of cosine x is negative sine x so we just multiply by negative sine x here and now that's how we construct the quotient rule for this derivative and now let's simplify the top the bottom stays the same for now so let me just write it down 1 plus cosine x squared like this on the top of course you can draw the arrows to make yourself happy and things like that this times this is cosine x this times this is plus cosine squared x and then this times that negative times negative just like the good old days it's plus sine square x and now is there anything that we can do notice right here what can we do this is nicely equal to one isn't it so yes we can do something about this so we can write this as cosine x plus one and let me just write down the one first if you don't mind one plus cosine x over parentheses one plus cosine x square and the reason I want to do that is so I see that this is just the same thing as the denominator. But this is to the first power and this is to the second power. So I can cancel out one of them together and becomes that. So the answer to this is just a one. This is a nice one over one plus cosine x. And then this is now just to the first power. And that's what we have. And this is it for this right here so i demonstrated three examples and now it's your time to actually look at the file and then do the practice questions on your own and of course i will try to make video solutions for you guys and you see the deal already we'll be using pretty much everything we have learned so far uh, the derivative for all of the trick functions and we have to use the product rule and maybe along with the chain rule and then maybe the quotient rule and then most importantly, sometimes you have to recognize maybe you don't want to do calculus right away. You want to take a look of the expression, maybe it represents some other expression that's much nicer. And that's what you have to recognize as well. Usually, do the algebra or do some trick identities before you actually do calculus. Then your life will be much easier, just like the first one. So, practice matters so go ahead print that out and let me know if there's anything that you guys uh, would like me to know and if you guys find this video to be helpful please subscribe to my channel i make math videos uh, in like math lessons and also math for fun for you guys and as always that's it